Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Madison Jolton from MLC Tech and now getting premium networking features at rock bottom prices seems too good to be true in the modern space of computing. But getting cutting edge networking technology doesn't have to cost an absolute fortune. And certainly as of late, Banana Pi certainly shares that same sentiment. With their brand new Wi-Fi 6 router appears to deliver promising blistering wireless speeds and also open source flexibility fairly found in consumers devices. And get this, all for the total price of $30. And now this little unassuming little router from Banana Pie packs a serious punch under the hood considering it only costs 30 US dollars. But let's take a peek at what's actually packed in this small device. Peeking under the hood, it utilizes a triductor TR6560 SoC with a dual Cortex A9 CPU running at 1.2 GHz. Alongside with triductor's TR5220 Wi-Fi 6 chipset. And on the wireless side of the router, it supports 2x2 MIMO with maximum speeds of 573 megabits per second on the 2.5 gigahertz band and 2.4 gigabits per second over the 5 gigahertz bands using the latest Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax standard. And taking a look at the specifications of this, that is very impressive. Yes, of course, it's not as impressive as the likes of Wi-Fi 6C or Wi-Fi 7, but given that it can support 2.4 gigabits of wireless connectivity on a budget of $30, it's incredible. And now also wide gigabit ethernet isn't forgotten on this router as well. With there being one WAN port and three LAN ports included on this, there's also an optional PoE module available if you need to power your router over ethernet. However, this module does need to be soldered into the router as an optional extra. But this is great if you want to use this device over a small home network or even a small business, as you could use these as purely wireless access points opposed to routers as a whole, which given the price point of this could be a pretty optimal solution to deploy a wider wireless network across a home or a small business. And Banana Pie have also stated that the 2.4 GHz signal can reach distances of up to 40 meters, and while the 5 GHz band has a range of up to 160 meters, and also WPA3 password protection is supported too on this router. But the real trick up the sleeve of the device isn't just the hardware alone, it is its open source firmware. This router using the OpenWRT, which comes preloaded right out the box, rather than a lockdown proprietary OS that a lot of higher end routers run. Now OpenWRT is a highly customizable open source Linux distribution designed specifically for embedded devices like routers and access points. And this also gives advanced users unprecedented control over configuring every aspect of a system. While this software is still technically in development, the OpenWRT project is working on reference firmware specifications with extra features aimed for slightly higher end $100 retail routers. But Banana Pie has gotten ahead of the game by taking this existing OpenWRT compatible hardware and packaging it up as a ready to go product. But that said, it is important to note that the BPI Wi-Fi runs a fork of the OpenWRT that is maintained directly by Banana Pie themselves rather than the mainline upstream version of this software. The device may therefore not be the fastest in receiving the latest features or security patches compared to the official release. And according to the GitHub log of this Wi-Fi router, the code that this is running was written seven months ago. But with it still being open source, you still have the control if you wish to take that control upon yourself and maintain and install custom firmware to this router yourself if you are personally not happy with the rate that Banana Pie updates these routers. However, for buyers seeking extreme value and open source flexibility, Banana Pie's new Wi-Fi 6 router offering could be the perfect match for you, delivering cutting edge wireless performance and gigabit ethernet at an unbeatable price point. At the moment, the router is only available from sites such as AliExpress, but who knows in the near future, maybe this could expand to wider availability if demand validates the ultra low cost concept. But in all, I think that this is a really cool product considering the price point of this device. I think it brings exceptional levels of performance and also features and flexibility, all for the small price of 30 US dollars. I think it would make for a really cool video if I was to get my hands on one of these devices and compare it to the other higher end devices that I personally own, such as routers from the likes of ASUS and also Ubiquiti. I think it'd be very cool to see how a product that costs this little compared to the much higher end stack of the market. 
Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions around this in the comments down below. Do you think that this is a really cool approach to bring high levels of networking performance at a very consumer friendly price? And would you be personally interested in picking up a device such as this? Let me know all of your thoughts around this in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you once again for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye for now.